Sea Slender here. I just wanted to share with you all a little snippet from my magical library. So, this is on the general guidance and purification of the soul. Learn first, O Practicus, of our ancient order, that true equilibrium is the basis of the soul. If thou thyself hast not a sure foundation, where art thou stand to direct the forces of nature? Know then that as a man is born to this world amidst the darkness of nature and the strife of contending forces, so must his first endeavor be to seek the light through their reconciliation. Thus, thou who hast trial and trouble of this life, rejoice because of them. For in them is strength, and by their means is a pathway open unto that light divine. How should it be otherwise, O man, whose life is but a day in eternity, a drop in the ocean of time? How, if, the, if thy trials were not many, could thou purge thy soul from the dross of earth? So I remember when I first read that passage uh, months ago, I got chills all over my body. Um, and for me, chills means spiritual confirmation. It's like allies, creator, my higher self that let me know, hey, this is important. Pay attention, pay attention. So I just wanted to share and touch on that a little bit. So true equi equilibration of the soul. Again, you wouldn't buy a house if it was on a you know really shaky foundation. You wouldn't buy a house if it was on a you know a mountain of sand, would you? Uh, you know, they, really really good price on this house, but the foundation is really awful. You just wouldn't do it, would you? Same thing applies to the gifts of Creator or the gifts of Great Spirit. These gifts and these abilities they don't quite op op open as often if we're all out of balance. You know, why would? We receive these abundant amount of blessings if we can't maintain our basic balance and equilibrium. The same thing applies to the unity with divinity, the unity with your higher self. If your foundation is shaky and your, ba and your balance is, is, is too weak, how can these further gifts and abilities and psychic clairs and chakras open up? So this equilibration starts at just the first, the mundane level. Right, this is food, this is exercise, this is sleep, this is stress management, right, all of those things. Then you evolve a little bit. Okay, your next level, physical, right? Your next level is mental. How are your thoughts? Are you controlling your thoughts? Are you meditating? Are you letting your thoughts just go out of control? Or are you using different techniques to bring, hold them back in, to reel it back in? Your emotions. How are your emotions? Do you let your fervor and your wrath get you way out of balance? Or do you let yourself stoop down into anxiety or depression? Right. How about your spirit? Are you feeding your spirit? Are you nourishing yourself with prayer, affirmation, with crystals and oils and incense and practices? Your soul. Are you chasing the truest, deepest urges of your purpose in life? Right? Are you following through on your highest ambitions? On a soulful level, are you connecting to that? part of you, right? Physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, soulful. Through these practical applications, does this unity with divinity click? So now, some of the practices taught in these sa sacred orders is the balancing of the elements. Now, we often hear in different metaphysical and new age communities that the elements are fire, air, water, earth, and spirit. Your fire is your will and your passion, your air is your mind and your intellect, your water is your emotion, your subconscious, and your earth is your body and your, you know, your physical operation. But you also have to remember that these elements are elemental. They are literally the building blocks of what makes you, you. So if one of these elements is thrown out of whack, another element is going to have to compensate for that. So let's just say that your fire element is way out of balance. You're way too ambitious, you're way too fiery and fervorous, right? Well, what does that fire eat away at? It, it eats away and overpowers your emotions, your water. So maybe as you're chasing your dream, going through your ambitions, maybe you're forgetting about a very important friendship that you have, right? So you have to pay attention to these things. Now, there are also pentagram rituals and different ceremonies to do that will balance and harmonize you. And if, for example, the Kabbalist cross, the banishing ritual, the pentagram, the calling in of the archangels, these, these otherworldly beings help us with that, that great transformation, with the complete balancing of your soul and of your psyche. So, there's different practices and things of that nature. Um, if, you, if you keep following me on my social media, I'll be posting more and more rituals and practices and things for you to do. If you'd like to get started in this magic to really bring that equilibrium in, 
Again, you can shoot me an email, theosoul10 at gmail.com, and I, I do personal magical mentoring. It's very reasonable. And um, if you're a Fair Oaks local, you can come see me at Blossom Path. I'll help you pick your candles. We'll, I'll teach you some magic. I do classes as well. So if you're interested in this kind of higher magic, this, this, this deeper yearning, this, um, this unity with divinity, I can, I can, I think if we share, I can help you know push you along that path. Because um, as you help someone else, you also are helping yourself. All right. So again, thank you for watching. This is Sea Thunder, and uh, may you walk in your truth.